Hi guys, happy Monday morning to you. Well, today I am merging two videos into one. So I'm gonna be first sharing some video footage from yesterday in which we did something in the sunroom. Stay tuned for that. And then we're gonna be going into the mudroom. I have changed that, that used to be the dog room. It's the dog room no longer. The dogs have found a home elsewhere in the house. Anyway, um, I'll explain why, but we're gonna go in there and we're gonna decorate that in a Tuscan wine look and feel. So if that sounds like fun, join me and we'll get into the video in just a minute. Just a minute. Okay guys, I'm gonna give you a little backstory on me and then we're gonna talk about my channel, then we're gonna get into decorating. So a little backstory on me. Before we had kids, I was an electrical engineer for an aerospace company. And my husband and I are very traditional in the sense that we knew once we started a family, he was going to be the breadwinner. I was going to be the stay at home mom that, you know, takes care of the home and the kids and runs everything around here. And so I'm very blessed in that sense that my husband is a wonderful, wonderful provider. Um, and I'm wonderful in the sense that I take care of everything around here and the kids and do all the running around and cooking and cleaning and my husband helps out too. Don't get me wrong. But that's that's what been my job. And we're really good teammates that way. He has his job and I have mine and we come together and we help each other. But with that said, over the years in meeting people, you know, they'll say, so now tell me what do you do for you know for a living to my husband? And he tells them, Now what do you do? Oh I'm a homemaker. Okay, back to you. So tell me more about your job like wow okay so over the years I have made been made to feel that somehow being a stay-at-home mom is a no nothing no-brainer freeloading kind of a job and it's not it is not by any means but that's how people make you feel and I know there's a lot of people out there that can relate to that and so there's always been a, a part of me that wanted to bring money in somehow, some way, but being able to work at home. So with that said, you know, YouTube has literally become, it's, it's a dream come true for me because I always wanted to work in the home so that I could be there for my family at a moment's notice, but also find some way to bring in some money and feel like I'm contributing some way, somehow. And all of you have made my dream come true. And I just want to take that time to thank you guys from the bottom of my heart because I'm able to do what I love and bring in a paycheck. And I set a little portion of it away in savings. And I take the rest of it and I invest it right back in this channel so that I can bring you fresh content. So it's a win-win. Um, but with that said, I was looking at my statistics and I noticed that 50% of you are subscribed the other 50% that watch are not. And I get it, some people don't wanna subscribe because they don't wanna feel like they have to leave a comment or they don't want the notifications coming in all the time. But, and I don't ask often guys, I don't. But you know how YouTube al algorithms work, the more subscribers you, you have, the more it helps you out. So with that said, I am so close to making 20,000 and so I'm reaching out to a lot of you that aren't subscribed. You do not have to feel obligated to comment or any, or hit that notification bell. If you would just simply subscribe, it would really help me out. It would touch my heart and it would mean a lot. And for those of you diehard subscribers that have been with me from the beginning and those of you who have just joined, I thank you guys so, 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 so much because y'all are making my little dream come true over here on the home front. All right, I'm talking too much. Let's get to decorating, but please subscribe. Please, 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 please. It would mean so much, so much, so much. Hey guys, see this room right behind me? Right there, that's where we're heading. So this is what the mudroom used to look like, except it had dog crates and dog food bowls in here. So now I've brought in my white cabinet and now we can decorate from here. So here you can see I have hung my black chalkboard and I'm getting ready to hang the other half of my shelf, which I did. And now I'm getting ready to hang both of my shutters. 
And now let's decorate with some popcorn and red kidney beans. I was going to layer popcorn and red kidney beans, popcorn, red kidney beans, but then I decided I like them mixed together. So that's what I did. Just dumped in the popcorn, added the red kidney beans, and then give it a good mix, mixing with your hand. That's all there is to it. Easy peasy. Okay, guys, this room is not big at all, at all. It's, it's a very small room, you know? That's why I don't consider it a mud room. But anyway, what I've done here, and it's going to be hard for me to show you, um, I just brought a white cabinet in. I brought in a big chalkboard, and I put autumn is coming soon, because it is. I hung two white shutters, and then I got those open lanterns from Walmart, cheap, cheap, cheap added my favorite candles that I'll link in my Amazon um, description below. Those candles are awesome. Again, I gotta show you guys, let there be light. Love it, love it. I mean, how cool is that? Love it, I'm gonna leave them on because I just love it that much. Um, and then above that, I took that Hobby Lobby shelf and I hung that there, added some leaves um, a basket of grapes and bread with a little, um, what is it called? Placemat, and I just kind of draped it over the side. Over here, let me bring you in. Over here is where Bentley eats, and I put his name on a little chalkboard, and then over there is where Ralphie, Ralphie eats. Isn't that cute? I thought it was cute. All right, let's decorate. All right, guys, the first thing I'm going to add, I've got, I got two of these um, placemats from Home Goods. Home Goods. And I think these are outdoor mats because they don't feel like the kind of mats you'd have inside. But anyway, it doesn't matter to me. I'm just going to lay two of these down to make them look like a table runner. If you guys watch Arlen at Arlen's Country Craft Corner, she taught me this trick. So she's, she takes like two placemats and it makes it look like a, a table runner. So I, I was like, oh, that's a great idea. And it protects the top of the wood. So I think I'm gonna leave it like this. And then I got this little placemat at, also at Home Goods, And I'm just gonna set this in the center like this, I'm gonna have it kind of hang over the edge, like that. Well, maybe not, I don't know, maybe. Like that. Let me go get some decor items, let's do this. Okay, so I was trying to think of something creative to put in here. What did I do? I had several bags of popcorn in my pantry and some red beans, kidney beans. I just threw them in together. I was gonna do a layered effect where I did the popcorn and the red kidney beans, popcorn, red kidney beans. But once I got it in there and shook it up, I was like, you know what, I kinda like them mixed. It looks kinda cute that way. So I did that. And then to this, to the top of the lid, I just added two little ribbons. And uh, I thought it kind of gave it a cute little look. Kind of kind of dresses it up, if you will. So I'm gonna place this here. I'm gonna go get some more items. So because we're going for a like a Tuscan wine look and feel in here, I had this little, you know, glass jar with a cute little lid. I filled it with wine corks that I had in my basement. Done. So we're gonna put this like probably back here. And then I had another, I had more popcorn left over and red kidney beans, so I put more in here. And this is, this is a different jar with a different lid. And I think I'm gonna set this here. I, I don't know what I'm gonna do just yet. Wait, maybe I'll move this over. Put this in the center, I don't know. Kind of like a grouping of three. 
You know what though? I'm going to move this over just a tad. Put that there, this here, this here. Yep, and I'm gonna call it done. So I have this rustic white candle holder. To that, I'm gonna take a little grapevine and stick it there. Here's my favorite candle of all time. The flaming flickering candle from Amazon with the remote. Super cool, can't say enough about this. Love it. And I'm gonna set this right here. Just to add a little bit of ambiance. So while I was at Home Goods. I ran into this sign. It was $9.99 and it says Napa Valley Winery. And I thought it was adorbs, adorbs. And so I'm gonna set this just right here. And actually, I have to move these over. Gotta play musical chairs over here. Yeah, now that looks cute. Done. All right, guys, the last thing I'm gonna add is this bottle of wine on one of my old rustic Tuscan candle holders. And I think it looks really cute. <clears throat> Some friends of ours have their own vineyard, and this is the wine they bottled from their vineyard. And so I thought, you know what, let's display it over here. It's cute, right? So I'm gonna set this here and put this wine right there. And that will complete this vignette. Okay, now I'm gonna take you into the sunroom and show you our new shades, our new shades. Try and figure out today's video. One word, one. Levelor. Toffee, caramel toffee. Cordless, cellular, light filtering, shades. That's what we're working on. Let's get into the video. Let's do this. All right, guys, you may remember these drop cloth curtains we did last week. Um, a lot of people were asking me, does it really do a good job blocking the light and heat out of your room? And the answer is yes, but we want to do more, um, especially on these hot, hot, humid days. So we are adding some shades. Now over here, we stopped off at Lowe's this morning and we got these Levelors and let's see, what are they? Cordless cellular light filtering shades. And so we're gonna install these and let's see how they look. It says here on the box, reduces energy loss year round. So I think it's definitely worth a try. These are awesome because they basically, you basically tap them and they go up and they pull right down with such ease. We are playing with them in the store and I said, oh, sign me up. These are awesome. So let's go back into the sunroom and get installing. See, we have to do three windows there, two windows there, and then two windows over here. And these are some more shades we got. By the way, we had them cut two size, so they should work out perfectly. So we're getting ready to do the French doors, and that's how it's going to kind of look. We're going to drop one there and one there. So he's pre-drilling into this metal door.
making progress. Now we just need to do the other one and on the other side. this is what the bracket looks like once it's installed. And then we need to do that door. One down, another one to go. All right guys, we got it installed and now we're just gonna pull it right down. Easy peasy. And oh my gosh, look how much it blocks out the light. Check it out. Bonus two, it matches that. So, you know, for the most part, I will keep these up during the day, but in the late afternoon when that sun comes blaring through, we will pull these down so we can eat dinner in peace without that sun and heat beating down on us. Love it. Okay guys, let's go into the sunroom and see these shades. They sure are cutting down all that glare that comes in here in the afternoon. And I'm absolutely loving it. And it feels a lot cooler in here now. Maybe not as pretty, but it keeps the bills down, right? And that's what's important. And here's the window I'm sitting by. I do have one up. Not bad. All right, let's go into the sunroom. So I want to show you these shades because I made a mistake when I told you there, uh, you know what, let me go over here. There uh, were different shades at Lowe's and one of them you just touch. This one has a little button right here and you basically just touch it and look how easy the shade goes up. How cool is that? Love that. All right, guys. Well, this is going to wrap up my little video today. Um, come back and see me Wednesday. We'll be doing some more decorating around here for sure, for sure. And uh, thank you so much for all of your lovely comments. Y'all mean the world to me. I hope you know that. And for those of you who aren't subscribed, please, 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 please. I don't ask often. I don't, but it would really mean a lot. And you don't have to comment or anything. Just it would help me out. I appreciate it so much. All right, guys. I'll see you Wednesday. Have a good one. See you later.